Now to a story about a dog, specifically this dog. His name is Rip and he could end up saving your life one day. Rip is an avalanche rescue dog in northern Colorado, currently in training to work with a nonprofit volunteer ski patrol. So most of his training happens at home, but there are camps to provide special training for dogs like Rip. Now those camps aren't cheap and the nonprofit says it just can't afford. Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio explains how you can help. Meet two year old Rip when he's not playing in his Fort Collins backyard. He's training in Colorado's backcountry to save lives. Oh, there we go. He is a very independent, um, very motivated uh, high drive. As soon as he was born, Janine Nesky says she knew Rip was the right dog for the job. He was born the day after Christmas, so his first winter he was pretty, he was too little to do a whole lot, but we were able to get started and, and introduce him to uh, the snow and introduce him to skis. Ever since his first ride through Colorado's snow-covered mountains, he's been training two to three hours a day to become the first avalanche rescue dog for Diamond Peak Ski Patrol. Watching him pull people out of a cave, snow cave is pretty impressive when they're like double his weight or more. Nesky says the motivation for Rip is a game of tug of war. At eight months old, Rip attended avalanche training for the first time in Aspen. And in just a few weeks, he's been invited to the Colorado Rapid Avalanche Deployment Winter Canine Camp, known as CRAD at Arapaho Basin. But Nesky says training to be an avalanche rescue dog isn't cheap. See, his harness is a little torn up. So many wonderful harnesses, wonderful coats, things like that. He's a, he's a skinny dog, so he gets chilly. Not only does Rip need some new winter gear, but also a place to stay while in training. Patrol director for Diamond Peak Ski Patrol, Mac Fuller, says adding a canine to their entirely volunteer-based team will help them rescue even more people. If someone is buried without without a, a beacon, um, you know, having that extra level of detectability with with rip is is just huge it makes all the difference the ski patrol covers cameron pass 65 miles west of fort collins which often has no cell service fuller explaining the nearest emergency services are often more than two hours away rip can cover a lot of ground in a very short amount of time not to mention his nose is an invaluable tool that can save lives yes come on <laughs> in fort collins i'm claire lavazorio for denver 7. Uh, it looks like rip can't wait to get to work and rip's owner has a gofundme set up you can find a link to it in this story on denver7.com